I'm a ruminant large one. That's not true. Let's go to the damn camp. There they are. There! Buffalo, everybody. I told you they'd be coming back at some stage fairly soon, and there are some. Now, this is a fascinating situation because, strictly speaking, what you're looking at there is a breeding herd of buffalo. Uh, now, I mean, two males, one cow and one calf. Uh, well, difficult to call that a breeding herd, but strictly speaking, that's what it is. And these three, or these four now, it was three, it was one bull, that calf and that cow have been on Juma for a little while now. I don't know why they've separated from the rest of whatever herd they've come from. Um, perhaps they've sought out this sort of, um, I guess the security provided by one of those big bulls. And I just think it's wonderful that they're back there. I suddenly turn to look at my screen and there the damn cam we had the buffalo. Isn't it nice to see them again? And they're ruminating as we speak, as Jamie suggested they might be. Well, that little one isn't. That tiny little thing is of obviously having a milkshake for supper. That's what it has for breakfast and for lunch as well. And very vulnerable, except perhaps, perhaps that buffalo cow is cleverer than we're giving her credit for. Perhaps she knows that the lions have spelt so, spent so little time here on Juma over the last sort of month or two that it's safe here. Perhaps she has realized that it is entirely safe for her to be here. Now, that action of or the way that they suckle there through the back, uh, oops, that's not very nice, uh, <laughs> mm. allows them to suckle while they move. So they can almost suckle on the hoof. So if they have to move while suckling, that is possible. But you can see it's not a very easy situation for the little calf if mum doesn't want to feed her or him. And then the other interesting thing about the way they suckle like that, and one of the reasons for it, is that the buffalo's horns, when they come out, grow backwards. They don't grow out of the top like a... Uh, like an impala, for example, has horns that grow straight out of the top. And by the time it started with its horns, it's weaned, because they obviously don't, don't want to hurt their mothers. But these little buffalo tend to suckle for a little bit, a little while after their horns have erupted, and they grow completely backwards, so that when they sort of bash mum's udders, which is what they do quite a lot, they don't hurt her. And I think this little thing is having a very rough time. Well, that's interesting. Rebecca, you're saying, how old do I think this calf is? I mean, I wouldn't have put this calf at more than... I think the horns are starting to erupt, which I think happens at about six weeks. So, I mean, I wouldn't have put it at much more than six weeks. It's very small. And not quite wobbly, but it is very small and obviously very hungry. Mm. Poor thing, it's not getting any joy at all. Blacksmith Lapwing there watching proceedings, and she's now moving back towards the bulls. Now, Bobby, you're in Kansas and wondering if she could be trying to wean him already. I mean, look, it's possible. I just would have thought that that little calf was too young. I mean, I would have thought it was almost... I mean, six weeks is is, is a, I would have thought, quite a, a strong estimation. I wouldn't have thought it was quite that old, but for the fact that it has those horns coming out of it. And I just wonder if I can't pick up, perhaps, on exactly when they wean. I have forgotten, of course, when a buffalo wean. There's a nice picture of the Juma Dam cam, or of the Juma Dam. And I'll just try and see if I can't, perhaps, tell when it is that they wean, but it's not, I, yeah, I don't know. It'll probably take me a little bit of a while to figure it out. Read through this rather thick text here. Might you, hang on a second, may have it here. We may have it here. No. 
I'll keep doing some research. I'll try and get back to you on that. Oh, hang on, here we go. No. I can tell you that the longest lived buffalo in history was 29 years and 6 months old and that was in captivity. I think you'll find out here they'd be lucky to get over 20 years old. So we'll wait and watch those buffalo, see if any lions come down to devour them. Uh, while we do that, Byron